in today's session i will cover the next topic which is very close to my heart analytics and aggregated data so if you remember in the past we have already implemented an aggregated data function using mongo database so here is where we have our mongo db and we are aggregating all the customer counts by country so you can see us has 6 4 3 2 so we have all the different different customers having different different customer count per country and we are going to now use this as a function import in our fury app and build analytics on top so this is something which will be done on our fury app when the fury app starts i wanted to show them how many customers are distributed across how many countries so to do that let's go back to our slides for the presentation and steps so first step is we need to call the aggregate function in the empty view so let's switch over back to the fury application of our project we go to this empty controller and here we are going to implement our init function and the root match handler function so i'm going to grab the code from ppt so this is the code where we are going to call our empty function so now if i just come down and show you we are first calling init function and after that in init function we are registering a event handler for our data so this event handler will be triggered eventually and here is where we're calling the function called get customer by country this will return the data back to us we're setting this data now into a local json model so let me declare the dependency on my scaffolding template if you are new to sap ui5 you can join our ui5 training on anubotrainings.com where we are going to make you hero from zero on ui5 so now this is done let's go to the step number two in step two we are going to set this data to the local model so that my fury application or the view can bind this data so we are setting to an entity set called data in the local model and next step and last step is to design our view so let's go to the empty view eventually and in this view here we are going to write our logic so i will just grab the the code and now you can just see what we are doing in this piece so just also get rid of the special characters from here yes so let's try now so now what i'm doing here in this i am creating a block layout the block layout has two block of elements and the first block of element contains a row and this row eventually has two elements of this frame two cells cell number one and cell number two so I have eventually two cells inside the block and each cell finally i have a uh, a chart so if you come down you can see I have a vis chart which is what i am using here on a vis chart and this is binding to my id property and count property the first vis chart we are choosing of type bar and similarly we have a second vis chart which we are choosing as type donut so you see we are using a donut chart we are binding with id and count property as you see from mongo we are getting the id and count for country and number of customers in that country and we just simply doing that binding over there with this so this binding will be utilized if you are new to this frame please check my video on youtube where i have explained step by step how to create this frames in sap ui5 so you can find that on our channel we have a series of videos on this frame how to work with this frame and you can really save a lot of a lot of cost buying a third party tool if you know fury then you can utilize the knowledge of fury to implement analytical applications in your company which can really save lots of lots of cost for your company buying a third party tool so let me just proceed now so we are done with this change and finally the last step is to uh, kind of go and test our application so let's go back and test our app so i'm going to switch over back and say cds watch which starts our application and we come here you can see i trigger this and the moment app starts on our empty view when the page starts for empty view 
we should see that we will be able to get the chart data bam there you go you can see i have got here two charts one is a bar chart and one is a donut chart showing here for which country how many different customers i do have so you can see two three four and six so this is a another donut chart which shows the distribution of customers per country so this application gives an overview at the very beginning when the app starts and furthermore you can add new customers so let's try to see if this analytics really does its job or not i will try to add one more customer in uk so you see current count is two it should become three it is it real time so i'll go back and now add a new customer let's say a company shell and i will put here let's say matthias and we add a new customer in uk save it's created and i will switch over back to previous screen and you can see now the data change real time and it become now three awesome so this is the beauty of real time analytics plus transactional application together on top of mongodb with cloud application programming model in the last and final episode of this series we will see how to deliver this application to your end user by deploying to a free amazon aws trial account please subscribe this channel and share your email id or git id on our mail id contact at anubotrainings.com if you want to see and download the complete source code of this application thank you so much for watching once again and i will see you in my next video